Week one of Friday football fever is here as teams across the state open up their season tonight. There are several exciting games on tap, including a pair of playoff teams meeting in Westville. And that's where we bring in our sports reporter, Tristan Thomas, with a preview of our spotlight game of the week. And it's going to be sizzling or also maybe stormy. Yeah, Brandon and Jennifer, it's a really busy time for football fans in central Illinois. Of course, the Illini winning their season opener last night over EIU. And now another day later on Friday, it's our first Friday football fever coming up tonight in week one for high school football. In our spotlight game of the week, it's a pair of eight win teams with plenty of talent back from a season ago. Westville and Salt Fork meet in a battle of VVC powers. These teams also met in the opener last year when the Tigers won 21-14. Both teams entered the season with high expectations, trying to get a statement win in week one. This year, we're, we all were really young last year, but this year now we're majority of our team, at least their skill players are older. It's a great first game to have. I think we can go deep in the playoffs. My goal is to be 9-0 and and then go deep in the playoffs, maybe win a couple games. Show everybody that we can be ranked and we're better than what everybody thinks. We've got much more high school football coverage coming up tonight at 6. Hear from both teams' head coaches ahead of this big-time game. And, of course, at 10, the Friday football fever, week one. All the highlights, as long as weather allows, right? Uh, if you look back to week one last year, kind of the same problem. A lot of postponements, some delays, some games pushed back to Saturday. Hopefully, we are able to avoid that for the most part. This week, we'll have to wait and see. And overall, excited for just a... a fun high school football season and all that lies ahead. Reporting in Westville, WCIA 3 Sports, I'm Tristan Thomas. Back to you. All right, let's go, Tristan. Thank you.